What is up guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Roshan and in this video I'm going to walk you through how I made my transition from being an engineering graduate to being a business analyst. Timestamps for the video is going to be here so you can skip forward to whatever part interests you the most. So don't forget to hit subscribe and let's get started. Prior to going into college, I had no idea what my interests were. Like every other Indian kid, I had three options present to me which was commerce, MBBS or engineering. Now I knew I wasn't interested in becoming a doctor and I was into physics a bit. So I picked engineering. Shocking, I know. Anyway, so I ended up getting an admission at NIT and my focus area was electrical and electronics engineering. During the first year, I was actually quite curious and enthusiastic about engineering because we had to touch base with all of the different streams. But from the second year, it was just a downward slope of electrons, neutrons, semiconductors, transistors, circuit theory. To be honest, I still don't know what a transistor is. Moving on to my fourth year, that's when I applied for a business analyst role at a consulting firm in Bangalore. So the selection was based on two interviews. The first one was a technical interview where they tested out the analytical thinking of the candidate. So they were more interested in the problem solving skills than knowledge of tools like SQL, Python and R. The second interview was more on my soft skills and how I could handle stress. And one of the questions that they asked was, if you were going to interview Michelle Obama, what is the one question that you would ask her? So um, I think I said something around gun laws, whether or not it should be legal to use guns in the US. It wasn't a great question, but I ended up getting the job and that's how I stepped into the world of business analytics. Okay, now let's talk about the skills that you would need to become a business analyst in 2022. Now, when you apply for the role on the company portal, you will get to see the skills that the company is looking for in a candidate. So it's always best to know those skills, but to generalize, I would say SQL and Excel these are two of the tools that you must know as both a business analyst and a data analyst. And what would be good to have is Python and R and even knowledge of dashboarding tools like Power BI, Data Studio and Tableau. And what I would recommend is once you have knowledge of the two, that's SQL and Excel, you can start using channels like LinkedIn and Twitter to apply to the companies that you're interested in. And on the side, while you apply, you can brush up on your Python, R and dashboarding toolkit. All right, that's it for this video. Drop a like if you found this useful and also let me know if there's any video in particular that you'd like me to talk about or make. I'll see you in the next.